Hi. Welcome to my first ever vlog. I sort of forgot what I was about to say just now. Shit. Many people have asked me at this point what it is that I actually do in my job. So for those that don't know, I'm currently doing a PhD in astrophysics at the University of Copenhagen. And that's what I will be going to show you today. It's gonna be wild. Expect explosions and all kinds of other things. It's gonna be great, okay? Actually, it's just gonna be me sitting at a desk coding, you know? That's what it is. But first, coffee. A little bit of food, and then we're gonna jump on the bike, go through the streets of Copenhagen, and arrive at work. Anyway, I'm gonna make some coffee. First you get a cup, and you get some coffee. Also, I know it's instant coffee, don't judge me. I don't have a coffee machine, okay? Also, there's something going on in this cup. Oh, I thought for a second it wasn't clean, but it is actually clean. <laughs> Rich aroma and smooth taste. Now that's what I'm all about, richness and taste. You like that? Why, why do I talk like this? Water's getting heated nicely now. Look at that goodness there, getting heated. Oh, baby. I love induction. Look at that go. Mmm. The coffee's almost ready now. One, two. I'm not gonna drink it yet. I first have to put the water in there and then I drink it. Woo! Woo! Hey. My eyes are up here. Lovely stuff. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Good stuff. Well, I think it's time to jump on the old bike. So, uh, wah! so I'm going straight to work right now. It's cold as hell out here. I'm getting tears in my eyes already. From the cold wind. It's, uh, well, first of all, it's Friday. So that's awesome. Always great when it's a Friday. Second of all, it is exactly one year since I decided to play Outer Wilds and record it and put it on YouTube to the day and it's also my birthday today so yeah quite a special day I really hate this traffic light in particular. You only get like five seconds to cross before it turns red. So you just have to put the pedal to the metal. Not very glamorous weather. Oh, I can't wait to get inside. It's so cold out here. It's freezing. But I'm also just a giant pussy when it comes to cold. Here we are.
Welcome to my office. There it is in all its glory. Man, I'm exhausted from that. I'm not in very good shape right now. I need to get back to running. Ah, oh, yeah, well, we're here and it's nice and warm inside. First things first, set up all the equipment, grab a coffee, take off the jacket. Time to bring out the laptop. We don't want to get disturbed while we do science, do we? No siree. Also drop my keys. This is why I keep losing my keys. I drop them everywhere. It's horrible. Yeah. Let's get to it. Let's connect our shit. Mm. So you all know there's galaxies out in the universe, right? A lot of these galaxies are what we call active. We call them AGN, active galactic nuclei, okay? It's essentially a galaxy with a supermassive black hole at the center that is active. And when I say active, I mean it is eating, consuming material at a pretty uh, high rate. And when it does this, it emits light in all kinds of wavelengths. And these AGN consist of a set of components. There's a supermassive black hole, there's a disk of material around it. Um, there's a obscuring torus. There are sometimes jets. There's all kinds of different components associated with it. What I'm trying to do in my code is to associate some parameters with each of these components. You can imagine that all of these combined is one giant model. It's one giant model of a spectrum, okay? That's the model. We also have observations, which is something we get from telescopes, right? We know what the spectra look like when we go out and observe the galaxies. So what we're trying to do is to tweak all of these different parameters for all the different components such that our model matches the spectrum we observe. And that's not easy to do. So we could manually go in and just change each parameter and see, okay, does this produce a spectrum that looks more or less like the one we observe? But that would be a terrible way of doing things. Instead, I use something called MCMC, which means Markov Chain Monte Carlo. And it's essentially a way for the program to automatically go in and tweak these parameters and produce better matching spectra that fit the observations, right? But the problem is there's no ideal solution to this because tweaking one parameter could have the same effect on the final spectrum as tweaking one of the other parameters, right? We say it's degenerate. It's a degenerate model, um, which is hella annoying. So there's no one right solution here. You could have a different set of parameters with different values, and it would give you the same spectrum, the same model, as another solution where you have different values for each parameter. So you can imagine which one is then the right one. And there's no good answer to this. The best we can do is to just try all of it and compare the, um, we call it the likelihood, the likelihood of each model, right? And that's what I try to do here. So basically, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. My camera is about to run out of battery, so <laughs> it's probably time for me to actually sit down and uh, type on my keyboard while, God, I'm terrible at making vlogs. So I'm getting a little bit hungry. I think it's time to uh, go grab some food. Let's go. We're going to get bagels, isn't that right? Bagels. 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 It's going to be glorious. We're splurging. Bagels are amazing. At least these are. Oh, so what are you gonna get on your bagel? I'm gonna have tuna. Tuna, uh, no. You don't like that? Yes. There's also chicken. I don't feel like tuna. Oh, you don't yes, feel like tuna? There is, uh, I'm actually, I'm not actually sure, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. 
Hello. Oh, you have Vegas. Hi. What's up, man? Oh, uh, you have a bag actually if you want to put it in. Yes. Put it in the big one. Nice, thank you. Dude, it's so windy. <laughs> At least it's sunny. Yeah. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> it's not sunny at all. Sarcastic. It's never sunny in Denmark. Actually, there's like two weeks a year where it's really yeah. sunny. Other than that, no, never. But those two weeks though, are amazing. I'm gonna ask you some hard-hitting questions hello, here. Hello, hello, yeah. So Go what on. do you do? What is your research, dude? <laughs> so basically I'm looking at supermassive black holes. Nice. I'm trying to find their mass. And I do that, but by looking at the cinema kinematics yeah. of the stars around okay. the black hole. Right. So basically, I am trying to see how fast the stars are going. Because the faster they go, the bigger the, the black hole must be. Sounds cool, right? man. Yeah. I like that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so happy right now. That food hit the spot. I couldn't bring the camera in there because there was a bunch of people. I don't want to be, you know, recording everybody. I think you understand. So yeah, but now I feel so great. It's time to get back to work. Let's go. So right now I'm actually writing a paper and it's not very interesting. It's, us it's mostly just a characterization of a galaxy. You know, doing some measurements using radio data, measuring the amount of H2 gas in there, you know, standard stuff. Uh, it's data that just needs to be published, really. Um, so it's, it's a little bit boring, but it is what it is. It needs to be done. Most of my time is spent writing papers, you know, or reading papers. Man, you read a lot of papers. That's like almost entirely what you do. I think that's about it. I ideally want this video to be out today, but we'll see how that goes. Probably not happening. I'm not sure. So it's really quite late right now. Um, I don't know what else to tell you in this video. There's not really... I don't do anything crazy, you know? It's just going to work and doing data science. That's really what it is. It's very dark outside right now and... Uh, yeah. It's time for me to head home and enjoy my Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Whee!